the director of The Winter's Tale at Studio 58, and also with Mike Wasco, who is here and playing Leontes in The Winter's Tale production. And you're working with, um, let's see, let me find his name, Christopher David Gaut Gautier. Gautier, yeah. Gautier, who is the set designer. He's also still a student here, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that must be exciting because there are really two different worlds in The Winter's Tale, um, you know, Cecilia and then Bohemia. Could you tell us a little bit how it was to work with him and create those two different environments? Yeah, well, we had a really great uh, dialogue and um, uh, it sort of evolved, uh, you know, through multiple conversations. And then uh, we came across the, the, cent the central image of the tree because um, the, the white birch is the national tree actually of Russia. And then we have the silver birch here in Canada. Um, so we centered upon using a forest as the unifying, um, kind of the unifying set. And uh, that's able to be architectural in Cecilia and also just a forest in Bohemia. Cecilia is set in the late 50s, early 60s um, in, in the Soviet Union or Soviet Union-esque type country. He is the, the leader, the ruler of this country and um, so it's uh, more strict, it's more militaristic, it's um, there's, you have to be careful, you have to be careful around him, you have to be careful around each other. Um, whereas in Bohemia we travel to 1975, 76, and uh, in Canada, and uh, so it's it's a lot more relaxed. And we're also in the country, so it's and it's summertime and it's party time, and so we go from a quite a rigid society to a relaxed one. It's like male neuroses unchecked. You know, he uh, he's the biggest, strongest, most powerful guy in the realm, and has this beautiful wife and. He's never really been challenged that much in his adult life. And then as soon as his buddy Polixenes shows up, another king, not a subordinate, not, a, not an underling, an equal. They're old buddies and they hang out and they have a great time. And then his wife and his old buddy start hitting it off a lot. And they get really cozy with each other. And Leontes just is not comfortable with that. And uh, his, uh, the darker regions of imagination just kind of spiral out of control. And unfortunately, um, when most of us start acting like a jerk, hopefully we have people in our <laughs> lives that kind of bring us down to earth. But when you're all powerful, people are a little, you know, your, your, your rage goes a little more unchecked. So uh, after, a, after a, you know, a decade of being out working mm -hmm. in the world, is there anything surprising about working with the students? Anything has surprised you? I know you've only been working with them like 10 days or so, mm -hmm. but... Um, I mean, I don't know if I'm uh, so much surprised as just, you know, you know, gratified that they're just so ready to jump on board with anything. And, and uh, um, I mean, in a way, I, I kind of expected that because I know what the, I know what the program's about, and and uh, I, re I vaguely remember what it's like to be a, <laughs> a young student myself. And um, but uh, um, no, you know, I mean, I, I guess I'm I'm. Uh, I'm always just, uh, yeah, pleasantly surprised. Um, and you have one of the best stage directions in all of Shakespeare, which is Exit Pursued by a Bear. <laughs> yes. Have any hints for us how you're thinking about doing that? Just because that's so fun. Yeah, well, I kind of don't want to ruin the uh, surprise because okay. that's the first thing that everybody asks is, how are you going to do the bear? Come, <laughs> come see the show. Yeah. <laughs> and barely